Matt here for ThoughtSpark. We live here on this cozy planet that we call Earth. Earth is the only place known to us so far that contains life. We all know this, of course. We watch plenty of content here on YouTube discussing this in depth. But what is life? Could non-carbon-based life forms exist in the right conditions here on Earth or elsewhere in the solar system or in the universe for that matter? Let's take a look at this topic in detail. It seems quite simple, right? I mean, the likelihood that life could exist elsewhere. I mean, life is just complex chemistry, right? We all have atoms in us that came from stars that exploded billions of years ago. Atoms in you and I right now came from stars. That's pretty wild to think. So given how vast and how huge our universe is and how small planet Earth is, I mean, what we can see in the universe, our observable universe, is 93 billion light years in diameter. That's huge, and we are just a small, tiny speck. To think that life arose here and nowhere else in that vast cosmic arena, it seems very Earth-centric and selfish to assume such a thing. I think it's very highly likely that life has arisen elsewhere in our universe. But let's take a look at our own backyard, our solar system. All life on Earth needs liquid water to survive, as well as light from the sun to get energy or chemical energy. And it is also very selfish to assume that this is the only way that life can operate. There could be life out there on other worlds and other star systems that we just have no comprehension of how their ecosystem is, their conditions and environments are where life could pop up differently than here. So, looking at silicon-based life, could we expect to see such a thing here on Earth? Well, no, probably not. You see, the biochemistry on different life forms is intrinsically related to its environment. And here on Earth, silicon and oxygen are the main building blocks of Earth's crust and mantle. This is in the form mostly of igneous rock. They're built from silicate materials that use silicon and oxygen framework. Any free silicon based in these rocks would be inert in moderate temperatures. In higher temperatures, they would be more plastic and reactive. So any silicon based life forms could theoretically live in these high temperature areas as lavobes or magmobes, which are microbes that exist in lava or magma. But scientists haven't found any evidence suggesting this, making silicon-based life here on Earth pretty much impossible as we know it. However, not all is lost for hope for the discovery of silicon-based life. On extreme worlds like Titan, which is Saturn's largest moon, there is no oxygen in its atmosphere, and any existing water on its surface is frozen due to its distance from the sun. It's obviously very cold there. In this case, silicon wouldn't be oxidized right away into inert rock, leaving more of a chance for the chemistry to mingle together and maybe create life. Also, there's liquid methane that exists on Titan, as discovered by the Cassini spacecraft. And methane is a good solvent for silicon. This is exciting news because silicon molecules such as silanes and polysilanes mimic organic chemistry here on Earth. These would be stable on Titan and could theoretically be the start to alien life on another world, and the start to silicon-based life as we know it. Should we expect to see life on Titan? Unfortunately, no. It's not very likely. You see, there's too much carbon in Titan's environment to react with other compounds, and most of the silicon found on Titan is locked up in its interior, so there wouldn't be enough of it to react with anything. However, should we find life on Titan, silicon would be used more as a life-building block than it ever could be here on Earth. So, what do you think life on Titan could look like? I think if life would exist on Titan, I don't think it would be anything more than microbes. It depends on how long life would have had the chance to evolve. What physical characteristics do you think it would take on if we found life on Titan? Do you think it would just be microbes or that sort of style of life? What do you think? 
Also, it would be quite a huge discovery to find life on Titan. It's so far away from the sun, plus Titan's thick haze really restricts sunlight. So if life were to evolve there somehow, how would it get its energy? Would it get it from the sunlight or chemosynthesis, basically chemical energy? What do you think? The question of are we alone is as old as humanity is. I think for as long as we've been looking up into the stars and asking ourselves this question, I personally can't think of a bigger news event than the discovery of life elsewhere in our solar system or the universe. No matter how big or small, if it's intelligent or not, it's still the answer to our age-old question. Knowing that life exists in two places in our solar system would be phenomenal. It would give us that much more odds of finding life elsewhere. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Thought Spark video. This was a viewer suggestion given by Zalahi. Zalahi, thank you for the suggestion, and I hope I said your username right. If anybody else has a suggestion they want to see me cover, uh, leave them in the comments below. Don't worry, I'll take a screenshot of it and um, save it. As soon as I got everything else that I'm working on cleared off the table, I'll get to your topic as soon as I can. I want to say thank you to Ezekiel Gaming for becoming my first Patreon supporter. I hope I said your username right. It really means a lot and it really helps out the channel. So yes, if you enjoy what I do and want to see some Patreon exclusive videos and behind the scenes content, consider supporting my channel with a donation of your choice. Head over to patreon.com slash thoughtspark. The link will also be in the description below, as well as some other further reading topics that I used on this subject. Also, if you can't donate on Patreon, don't worry. All I ask is that you share my content, subscribe, and like my videos if you enjoyed them. As always, to my left over here, top and bottom, are some extra videos that you may enjoy uh, with a subscribe button also to my left in the middle there. As always, thank you for watching and stay curious.